welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be making granola butter, birthday cake granola butter. So let's get started. Right here we have one cup of walnuts and hazelnuts mixed. For this you could use like walnuts, pecans, um, anything like that, but we just chose to use the walnuts and the hazelnuts. All right, go ahead and dump that in your food processor. Good job. Mama. All right, next we are going to do a cup and a half of quick oats. Go ahead and pour that in. Good job. Mama, we're making granola butter, yeah. Okay, here you go. Mommy, we're making cookies. Good job. Okay. Making pineapple. Go ahead and sprinkle this cinnamon in. Mama. So we're gonna do about a tablespoon of cinnamon. And then we're going to be putting in coconut flakes. I love cinnamon. You like cinnamon, I know. Okay, ready? We're going to do coconut flakes I next. I like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. I like it too. I like it. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, can you please pour these in? There you go. So that right there is a third a cup of coconut flakes. Mama. Yes. We're making butter. Uh -huh. Okay, next we're gonna do one scoop of birthday cake protein powder. I'm bopping it. Good job. Okay. Mommy, we're making bag of vinegar. Yeah. Mommy, we're making cake. We're making bag of vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm bopping okay. it. Right here, we're gonna do two tablespoons of chia seeds. Mommy, we're making bag of vinegar. Okay, here you we're go. Making bag of vinegar. We're making granola butter. Can you say granola butter? Granola butter. Yeah. All right. Mommy. Yes, baby. I'm gonna sprinkle it. Okay. Back. Next, we're gonna be doing two tablespoons of water. Mommy, we're making vanilla lava. We're making vanilla blabber. Yeah. Mommy, we're making... And then you're going to go ahead and blend that in your food processor. Once I started blending this, I realized I forgot to add in the maple syrup. So after that was completely combined, I just went ahead and threw three tablespoons of maple syrup in there. And then I just pulsed it in my food processor until it was completely combined. I also added about three more tablespoons of water as it was in the food processor to get the creamy texture that I like. And this is what it should look like. When you're all done mixing the ingredients and you have the texture that you like, you go on ahead and add in your sprinkles. So go ahead and add them in for me, Bubba. So we did end up um, putting in five tablespoons of water, but I like to start with two and then add it gradually as I go. That way it doesn't become like too runny and I can kind of keep the texture how I like it. Um, but this stuff is delicious. Put it on toast, eat it by itself. Um, really put it on anything. And in our case, put as many sprinkles as you want. Alrighty guys, make sure to subscribe for more recipes and more protein treats Mama, and baking with me done. and this little guy. Say bye. bye! Look how good that this looks. This actually only lasted one day in our house.